Hello again everybody, this is Craig Evans of Autism Hangout and thank you for tuning into this Autism Hangout special report. You know, it's always a delight to interview those that are making a difference in the lives of our special kids. But it's an added perk when I get to bring them back to announce new advances in their professions. And today is just one of those events. Today I'm delighted to once again be talking to Lauren Henry, the founder and president of With a Brush of Love, a company that is dedicated to helping our kids find the perfect environments in which to thrive. And today, we've got a new book to announce. So, welcome, Lauren. It's nice to have you back. Great to be back, Craig. Thank you so much. Now, you sent me an advanced copy of the book, and I'm thrilled with it. This is what I want to talk about today, because inside of these coverings, when I talk about a way for your kids to thrive in environments, including home environments, you really have written the book on this. You talk about how to evaluate a child's needs, how to understand the purpose of that particular space. You talk about colors. You even talk about how to do this in a very green type manner. So without getting too far ahead of myself, you can tell I'm a little worked up over this. <laughs> you, and I so appreciate that. Thank you. Well, it, anytime people are making it better for our kids, that's fantastic. So if you can take a few minutes, you're the one that wrote the book on this subject. Tell us about the book and tell us about what we'll learn if we buy this book. Well, uh, basically, the point of this particular book was so that there would be some sort of guide or handbook, if you will, for mm -hmm. parents, teachers, anyone, obviously, um, so that they could take that with them and basically have the uh, information at their fingertips in terms of what they can utilize uh, and, and how they can basically make changes that are going to have a somewhat immediate but significant impact on their children and themselves, frankly. Mm -hmm. Because environment is something that affects all of us. Color affects all of us. Lighting, uh, spatial organization, tactile elements, all of these things affect each and every one of us. But mm -hmm. certainly those diagnosed with a special need or autism, especially, uh, are affected to, as we know, you know the 10th the power. Mm -hmm. So making these changes, although they seem as though they're very small, have huge uh, positive impacts on, on children. You know, I got so far ahead of myself here, I didn't even mention the title of the book. The title is called Unique Kids, Unique Surroundings, Creating yeah. Creative, Green, Budget Conscious Ways to Design the Ideal Environment for Children with Autism and Special Needs. Now, let's That's a mouthful, I know. <laughs> One of the things I'm most curious about is if somebody calls you and says, I have a child on the spectrum, and you go over to the house, because I'm assuming you do this in person, what kind right. of questions do you ask to determine what would be best for that kid? Well, you know, it's a great question, and I sit down with the parents, and I want to know, and first of all, that's, that's one of the most important things I want to clarify, is that it's really important to speak with both uh, parents or caregivers, because each person has a different vantage point and experience of what they're noticing uh, from their child. Mm -hmm. So that's number one. But the questions we go through are, you know, what are the challenges that you see day to day in terms of your child? What are your challenges uh, as, as parents or caregivers? What are the, the frustrations or the limitations that you're finding uh, are occurring to you in direct you know, cause and effect from uh, the needs of your particular child and their issues. What are the goals that you have for your child? If you could say to me, you know, what I'd really like them to be able to do is X, whether it be, you know, I'd love for them to go uh, to sleep on their own. I'd love for them to stay in their room and not come out, you know, pounding on the door. I'd love for them to be able to go in and self-soothe, have a place where they feel they can retreat to when they're feeling overly agitated. Um, all of, of these kinds of very intimate personal questions in terms of, you know, what the immediate um, results are mm -hmm. that they're already having mm -hmm. with the environments their children are currently in. Mm -hmm. Are they positive? Are they negative? What are they? And then what can we do to basically change them and improve them. Mm -hmm. um, that being said, I, I also ask, you know, what the sibling scenario is. Are they each having their own rooms? Are they sharing a room? Are they sharing a room with a child that is also, that is a neurotypical child, or are they on the spectrum as well, or do they have a different challenge or need? Mm -hmm. What is the age difference? What, you know, all of these types of things are really quite important and make mm -hmm. a very big difference 
in what we end up choosing to do mm -hmm. to accommodate the function that that family may need for mm -hmm. that particular room uh, and the support that each child needs, mm -hmm. especially if you have two children in a room. Mm -hmm. Regardless of how similar or dissimilar their issues are, their needs are always going to be independent of one another and they have to be met in a way that's going to work for everybody. You know, it wasn't that long ago that I saw an excerpt on a television show, and I'm pretty sure it was Home and Garden TV, where you actually demonstrated how this worked. If somebody was looking for that particular clip, where would you send them? Actually, uh, the easiest thing to do is just go to my website, which is www.brushoflove.com, and right on the homepage at the moment, uh, you will see the Kid Space video. You'll see several videos to choose from. You just click on it, mm -hmm. and it'll tell you the story of the Wemple family, actually, and... Um, You'll see, uh, you'll see the beginning of the whole show, so you'll know you're at the right place. But it is kid space, and if for any reason it's moved on my site, it's on the site. You just need to look around, but it should be on the homepage. Mm -hmm. Can people order your book there as well? Absolutely. They can go right to my site. They can order it. Uh, there's a little tab that says Lauren's book. You can click on it and order the book right there. Okay, yes. fantastic. Now, this is also going to be available through general retailers such as Amazon. Am I correct in yes. that? Yes. You can go to Amazon as well and pick it up. Not a problem. Very Fan easy. Just to click. Fantastic. That's, <laughs> that's great to, to make it that easy. Now, there's one other thing I want to talk about. I, I know this book is fantastic, but you've talked to me about possibly offering something in the Autism Hangout Education Library along these lines. Yes, we're very excited to announce we're going to be doing a webinar series. And um, the first installment of my series is going to be up. My producer says we should have it up in about um, seven days or less. Okay. So that will be available. And the first installment is going to be about, um, there'll be a, a selection, but the first one's going to be about 15 minutes long. And it will be about the impact of color and how to discern the types of colors you uh, want to use as opposed to what you might need to use mm -hmm. and what the impact may be. So it's very informative and uh, I hope actually a little bit fun. Um, my producer is quite, quite creative so we try to, to keep the fun involved as well. But uh, there will be some different installments coming up so you should stay tuned. It's very exciting. And, and on that note, I'm also very um, excited and privileged to be a part of Autism Hangout and be able to share that on your site. So thank you so much for that opportunity, Craig. Well, thank you. It, it's a thrill to me as well. So uh, folks at Autism Hangout, whether you're a parent or a caregiver or teachers and educators, if you're looking for the way to create the perfect environment, the book is available and you can find it online. So, Lauren, thank you for your contributions to our community. Thank you so very much, Craig, and I look forward to uh, coming back and continuing to be a part of the Autism Hangout community. Well, thank you so much. I look forward to your future contributions. So thank you, Autism Hangout. We'll be back again soon with another special report.